Hello, I'm Sarah and I'm one of the members of this family project. The house you will see was actually the one of my grandmother uh, that we recently have renovated to an organic architecture. For now it's an art gallery and I'm really excited to show you around in the gallery and the garden. Come in! To continue the history of our ancestors who lived here, my, my grandparents, my great-grandparents, my mother has born here. So um, Andrew had already a real long time the dream to build an organic house. So the two, it was perfect, we, we, we could combine the two. So we really renovated in a very organic shape with round forms, forms inspired by nature. It was always also the meaning to create a place to share things with people, a public place. First of all, it was not very clear what kind of things we should do here, but then a friend artist asked us if he could expose in the garden and in the, in, in the house here. So we, we thought, okay, why not a gallery? Maybe we can try it and we see what comes. And uh, the people really liked the house, the, the shapes of the house, the garden. And so we continued, we continued with concerts now, with theater, we have a terrace. And uh, here is our place where we share things with people, where we meet new people and where uh, we combine all kinds of art. <laughs> For the renovation of the house we have tried to recuperate a lot of materials like this uh, these slate tiles for the floor are actually the old ones from our hairdressers in the back we have the clay tiles they are from uh, an old castle that has burned down for the walls we have used clay plaster with an underlayer with straw in it you see also the old uh, brick stones of the old house actually they are the originals we had a really long time the dream to make an organic house with the real organic forms, the forms inspired by nature, really round forms and to use organic materials to make it a whole. The shape is really something that grows with the project. Um, we had a plan, of course, from the architect, but still when we were building it, there are changes in the shapes of the walls, in uh, the, the chosen materials. It, continues to change and it really has grown like like nature grows has also the organic it's um, the organic architecture has grown organic actually <laughs> yes <laughs> i like the quote that my mom says a lot about hundred was one of our great inspirers it's like the straight line kills <laughs> because it's so it's sterile um, it has no life in it and the round forms gives warmth gives life it's all it's uh, it's like water it it um it grows it flows it's uh that's very important for us and uh, our great inspiring uh people were hundred was and uh, they have really inspired us with the round forms I think it's very important to inspiring people that you can just build what you want and um, not uh, be afraid of particular shapes or something. I think not everybody likes a house, but that's not important. If the whole of Belgium of the world, there were uh, only organic buildings, it would be very boring. <laughs> so. Um, we just wanted to show our own aesthetics. We have uh, used many natural materials, but also the round shapes gives the house a certain warmth, a certain coziness. Um, and the people who come and visit the gallery and the garden really feel that. It feels like when they leave, they are a little bit, just a little bit happier than when they come in. <laughs> and they are always surprised by the architecture, by the garden. And it's really nice to, to give something back to the people. And, um, yeah, we really like it. it. The starting point was also to make a place to share stories with people, to meet people, to discuss things. Now it's 
most of the time is discussing about art, but also about philosophy, about ecology. Yes, sharing is a very important word in this whole project. Well, now this space is actually one big space, but when my grandparents lived here, it was divided in three little chambers. There was one of my grandparents, here was one of my mother, and there was actually just a storage place. We have tried to hold as much as authentic elements here. So we still have the original floor. You can still see the painted carpet on the floor. Also the beams are the original. And um, now it's really just a cozy lounge place for the people who uh, visit the gallery. And it's fully decorated with one of our obsessions, totally secondhand materials and furniture. And actually they are still decorating elements in here who are original from this house of my ancestors. shapes inspired by nature. The brick is perfect for building that shapes. It's an overheated brick. It are actually the stones who nobody wants because they are not the good ones. But you can still see the charcoal in it, the really irregular forms. And this brick is just wonderful to make those round forms. We had a plan with the architect, of course, but it's really during the building process that, uh, that, that the forms took shape and every day was just a surprise how it would be evaluating the whole project. For the back part, the new part of the building, we have chosen for a green roof, an intensive green roof. There are all kinds of herbs, of plants, of flowers on it. It's really good for, it holds many of the water. We don't have gutters because all the water stays in the ground on the green roof. A great advantage is also that it holds the house very cool in summer and warm in winter. The garden is just a very important part in the whole project. The, the gallery is actually just the gate to the garden. We really like to invite people in the garden. They are always surprised about how big it is and how peaceful the garden is. It's actually also our sculpture garden. There are many kinds of art in the garden and also our event space. We like to organize our concerts and theater in the sculpture garden. So you are really surrounded by the artworks. Uh, I think there are a few center points in the whole story, in the philosophy of uh, the building. First of all, we wanted to honor our ancestors who has originally built it really as a tribute to them and to let live further the history of the house. Further, we really wanted to show our own aesthetics in every detail, in the shapes, in the forms. We really wanted to go wild in our ideas uh, and to show that there is something other possible in the style of house than we see normally in the streets. Of course, ecology is also very important in the natural materials, in the ecological materials, in the nature who surrounded the architecture. But I think that ecology has to become something that's inherent in the, in the vision of building a house. And that's not, uh, has to be a starting point. For now, that's really still an issue, but I think that's the future. Thank you for watching. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Questions or remarks, post them in the comments down below. If you like our video, just click the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Thank you for watching.